Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon. Welcome to Pillsworth. We are somewhere near Berry. We're somewhere near Pillsworth. We're somewhere near Rochdale, and we're certainly close to Manchester. We're in Greater Manchester. Now, this is a United Utilities helping people's drinking water flow smoothly. And the big scandal with that is that there's a landfill site here, best known as a dump. There's a dump nearby and it's giving a very strong putrid fecal sulfur rotten egg fart dying uh, body smell rotting corpse in a trench smell now i uh discovered this we're gonna walk that way towards the m66 motorway which connects manchester to blackburn burnley and all that stuff and uh into the north and uh, you drive along the motorway and you go, oh my God, what is that smell? It's a chemical plant smell, a, 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 a filthy, shitty nappy left out in the sun to, to rot all day kind of smell. And uh, funnily enough, I go onto the Manchester Evening News this morning and there's a massive story about it. For four miles in every direction, people are vomiting, suffering from nausea, feeling ill, wondering why they purchased a house in the countryside when they're three and a half miles away from a dump and their whole neighborhood, their farm smells of sulfur and eggy farts. So uh, rather than just drive up and down the motorway and complain about it, I thought I'd come and investigate. It's a private run company and uh, I have never, as a news obsessive, seen a landfill make a, 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 a radius of five miles in every direction smell like uh, literal shit. Oh, you want to go visit your friend in Clitheroe, Charlie? Well, suffer the M66 smelling of shit. Okay, we're getting close now to the Pillsworth dump. Environment Agency issues statement on horrific stench in Greater Manchester. The Pillsworth South landfill site has faced a series of complaints and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very bad. Anyway, Pillsworth South Landfill Restoration by a private company called Valencia. Now, they're kind enough to uh, do the whole COVID warning, but they have a, a pedestrian bit here, pedestrian route. Blue is freezing. It's all a bit, it's all looking a bit, uh, you know, how do you guys like the idea of your drinking water? mixing with landfill shit, landfill disease, landfill corpses, landfill rotten intestines of abattoirs. Love it. And uh, what a surprise. So someone has messed up. Infrastructure collapsing all around the world and a landfill site making a big five mile circle of death smell all around it. Now that, that just takes the biscuit. That That is just... What's that thing? Some sort of funnel to let gas out of the ground. Oh, there you go. Here's your landfill, viewers. Get your view. Get your views in, kids. And where is everyone? Where's all the workers? You'd think they'd be working hard to sort out this uh, smelly business. Where is everyone? There's no one here. Or do I see some people? Am I going to get shouted at by someone? Probably. But anyway, that whole massive thing there, above the water line, just above the reservoirs, there's going to be some Erin Brockovich type uh, poisoning of the local water tables here. That's going to bring in a lawsuit. And all these private companies and the companies that insure them will be shitting themselves almost as much as the local residents are smelling the shit <laughs> on themselves. And uh, as someone here on the site at the landfill, it really smells bad. It, it smells like rotten egg farts. It smells like being stuck in a small aircraft with a very fat, obese person who, who for dinner last night ate slightly rotten prawns and now their intestines and their colon has a uh, wind percussion symphony of uh, sulfur, a symphony of sulfur for your olfactory glands. You don't usually get algae forming 
on the pavement because of a slight runoff from the rain. But near a massive landfill where they're allegedly, allegedly mismanaging it to the point where local residents are vomiting from the smell. It's interesting to see a landfill up on the hill with the detritus, or if you prefer the Roman pronunciation, the detritus falling down all around us. And you look across the road. Why look, let's go there. Let's go there. You look across the road. People have been fly tipping because there are no CCTV cameras on this particular spot. And so why pay to dispose of your crap when you can just tip it in front of Valencia, Pillworth, Pillsworth North Landfill Restoration Waste Management? They're not doing so well, Valencia. Check it out, Harry Hill was a cyclist. He won a medal at the 1936 Berlin, Berlin Olympics. Uh, I'm, uh, we don't want to know which Austrian painter, failed Austrian painter, was in charge of Germany at the time. But anyway, neither here nor there. And it's not relevant to this whole area smelling of shit. But we must go up to near, see if we can have a look into the landfill site. And uh, we can uh, live action role play as an investigative journalist. And uh, who knows what uh, methane pipes and sulfur pipes they're having to install now. And of course, don't sue me, bro. Allegedly. So guys, I've been pulled over by two undercover young men. <laughs> so uh, can you smell anything here? Oh, oh it's, it's disgusting. Do you live nearby? Yeah, yeah, we all live around the car. And how would you describe the smell when you're trying to relax? Oh, it's just very fumic. Fume, that's a, that's a good word, mate, mate. The word of the year, fumic. It is vile. It's like a, it's like a fat person ate eggs and then farted up your nostril, isn't it? So uh, you, you pulled me over because uh, you like my video. So what channel are they watching and why should they? Charlie Beach. Wee, and, uh, and just to remind them, where about in the country are we right now? Um, Manchester. Manchester. Just outside Manchester, just north. All right, guys, all the best, yeah? Take care, see ya. Okay, through the trees, I've got... Uh, Small blue tractor pulling uh, one of those big slurry spreaders. You know when they got full of pig shit, cow shit, and they spread them on the field. Could that be behind the smell over here? Not yet, or not quite, shall I say. And uh, drove past this small farm here on the way in. And unfortunately, I've been here about 20 minutes now. My, my nasal passages are getting used to the thick, fumic shit. And... Uh, Imagine like you live here and you go to work somewhere and your, your, your workmates are like, David, you literally smell like an obese person's rotten prawn farts. Viewers, you, want, you might center screen the two guys in orange just walking around. Uh, there's another guy in high vis yellow down there just stood doing nothing for a moment. I thought he was uh, pleasuring himself, but I thought no one could achieve climax with this smell in the air. <coughs> Oh, I, I'm starting to taste it. <coughs> oh, anyway, what are these orange guys? They're, they're walking around anyway. Who's beeping at me? Who's beeping at me? Anyway, when you're a private profit-making corporation and you get a huge government contract to sort out a landfill, it doesn't take a genius to figure out it's probably even more profitable if you do nothing and just pocket the money. But then all the local residents now have to suffer shit smell. The aroma is uh, becoming almost unbearable now it's uh it's it's affecting me and a lot more yeah land filling here they say there's a cctv camera there well this sun lounger let me let me stand on it i don't think so but uh you can see a bit of the side of the landfill here there's a lot of pipage going in and a lot of pipes coming down i think it's too late we might have to, as Ripley suggested, nuke the entire site from orbit just to make sure. But then you'd affect Berry and Rochdale and Manchester just south. And also special thanks to the two undercover lads. They're clearly just civilians, but they were in plain clothes in the, in the Audi A5. Very friendly and uh, they live nearby and they suffer the stench. 
Why does it stink so bad? Oh. We're now just walking alongside. I'll show you where we've been. We've just been there at the fly tipping site. That's where I asked the guy that waved back at me. Why does it stink so much? He's obviously been, uh, been uh, groomed by his superiors to not uh, speak to people with cameras asking difficult questions like, why does it stink so bad? Oh, uh, my bosses allegedly um, didn't do their jobs properly and now everyone in the kind of five mile radius has to suffer the consequences. <sighs> Just having a look down the side here. I hope future Charlie, I hope future self remembers to crop so that the viewers can get a slightly better look. Will future Charlie remember to crop? Hopefully. I remember to crop, crop Queen Victoria's cockerel in the last video, so maybe I'll remember this one. I can't stop thinking now. Did the young man use the word fumic correctly? I could go into my phone and double check, but eh, fumic sounded great. Fumic. Danger, danger. This is not a play area, it says. And if I accept some ITV cookies, Pillsworth stench continues to cause physical and financial problems across Bury and Rochdale. That's from the 13th of March, 2024. But if we go back, come on, come on. Pillsworth South Landfill has been emitting foul smell across Bury and Rochdale since the summer of 2023. Now imagine this coming summer. It's going to be a scorcher and it's going to be smelly. So let me just fix the, the kind of focus thing here one sec. So... The landfill site operator, Valencia, this is from a month ago, breaks silence. They were trying to keep quiet about it amid sickening smell causing months of misery. What they've said is that they've stepped up and sped up work to resolve the problem. Now, uh, would they have resolved it had they gotten away with it if they managed to do what they were doing without the smell, exposing the, the stench, the something's rotten in the state of Denmark? <laughs> No, I don't think they would have done anything. What's this? Teenager guilty of murder after pulling out knife during fight. Oh, 17 year old. Oh, where was this? Anyway, this is a completely different story. Atherton. Oh God. Yeah, I remember. Poor guy. So basically, if you don't want to get um, turned into someone's booty in prison, don't do that. Anyway, we're here for the smell. Let's, uh, anyway, we're going to turn back. Or are we, no, we're going to go down the end, see what we see, then we'll go back, see if we can uh, ask some tough questions to some of the staff. Again, I am the amateur environmental officer here, just looking at some of the runoff from that stinky sulfur site. And again, you've got your green algae. That's not normal in the British winter, but it is if it's heavily polluted and full of nitrates and all that other shit. We've ended up at Haywood Distribution Park. And uh, they're very secure as well. A little ball camera above. I thought it was following me, but it wasn't. But I'm not here for Haywood. I'm here for Pillsworth or Valencia. Oh, what a nice, happy Spanish sounding, nice, sunny. So Valencia, I bet Valencia doesn't smell like shit. Hey, up. So we're outside Haywood. Something, Great Bear, part of the Kulina. Kulina. And there's a bag. There's a little bag here full of stuff. And uh, in the High Court of Justice, King's Bench Division, before the Royal the Honourable Mrs. Justice, so Rochdale Metropolitan Borough are trying to sue persons unknown being members of the travelling community who have unlawfully encamped within the borough of Rochdale. Tommy Joyce, Alan John Joyce, Alan Joseph Birdie Joyce, and persons unknown. So they got 28 days to fuck off. I'm uh, going to put it back because... Uh, I know not to upset the traveler community. So good luck, uh, Rochdale Metropolitan Borough. Good luck. Now just to get my self round. I'm coming slightly onto the site, but that's only because the, the temporary traffic lights making everyone block up here. Block up. There you go, everyone's favorite temporary traffic light. Watch them all disappear in the new tax year. How are you, you okay? I just wanted to ask you, you work here, do you smell that dump at all? Oh yeah, you could. What's it like? Me. Oh no, I don't work here, I just uh, can't pick the trailer up. But have you smelt the dump? Oh yeah. And what do you think of it? I thought it was a catalytic converter gun, bro. It's very stinky, isn't it? Oh, anyway, all the best to you, man. Take care, see ya. Thank you. See ya, man. Look at that. 
Good guy. He doesn't work here, but he smelt it, and he said he thought it was a catalytic converter gone wrong. I don't know about that one. Do they end up smelling like eggy shits? Probably. Here he goes. Go on, mate. Uh, what the hell is it? Was oh, it OJ? OJ? Double homicide beer. Premium strong beer. Is that OJ? No. Um, premium strong beer imported. Born in Belgium. 8.5%. Now that is... Oh, it's got a few flies in it. Proper tramp propellant. That, that keeps them going for at least an hour. That. How much is that for? 99p these days? These poor people. It's been red down there for a long time and... Uh, it's not really cricket temporary traffic lights. Here's again a van for United Utilities. It says water for the Northwest. Now, uh, seeing all this runoff from this uh, smelly site, I would hate to drink the water from the reservoirs around here. This every delivery truck, it says 100% renewable biomethane fuel. He's off to go get filled up again. Just take a deep breath, mate. Now, now, Charlie, remember to do a crop. I'll probably forget, but it's the intention that matters. My intention is good. You can see, as I mentioned earlier, all the pipes, not the men in orange at the top of the hill, are digging deep. And whatever they're doing is probably making it worse initially. Who remembers MBS guy towing away that crashed bus in Manchester? What a hero. So, uh, so a couple of really nice viewers uh, said, hey, Charlie, are you here covering the dump? I'm like, yes, I am. So. Thanks for agreeing to talk to me, oh, mate. Do you live nearby and do you smell it? I up the road and you smell it every time it's hot. It wakes you up in the night, it's that bad. In the middle of the in night? In the middle of the night, we walk up with the smell of the probably. And that was, what, last night or a few nights yeah, ago? Not last back night, in back in February. When, when it gets warm, yeah. you come down here, it, like you said, you can taste it, mate. It's you can amazing. taste it, and it's been going on for months. Months, months and months. And you believe them they're going to fix it in the next couple of days? No, no way. No. They've said it all before, haven't they? They never do it. No, nah, it's not profitable to, no, to, to waste they're, money. They're, no, but what, what are you smelling in? Well, what is it that you're smelling? Because apparently it's a perfume. They put a perfume on it yeah. to mask the smell. But what's in this perfume? Mate? I think they're using dog shit as, as the perfume. <laughs> well, I, I prefer that dog shit to that. Mate, it's, so would I. This is a, this is like a rotting corpse, like dead body smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that like methane smell, mate. Yeah. Mate, well, thank you very much, mate. No worries, I appreciate mate. your time, and I yeah. hope it goes away soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. No Cheers Charlie. See you, mate. So now... The queue, the queue goes all the way back to the motorway from that temporary traffic light. It's about a mile. Okay, we're back on site here at Valencia. Let's uh, have a quick look at the... It's a very tall mound. It's a... Uh, it's a very large landfill site. See all these weird structures popping out like uh, World War II pillboxes or... What do they call them? Little reinforcements in Normandy against the Allies. And again, what, what is this? Is this some big funnel? It says no smoking, so probably gas. This is probably some machine that is pumping methane and sulfur dioxide out of the ground. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it sounded intelligent. I am now on CCTV camera. The ball camera is looking directly at me. I think we better say hello. <laughs> I think if we're... I think we're going to have a look over here, see what we got. Strictly no tachos, no mustachios, no nachos, and no tachos or rest break. What is a tacho? A lot of pedestrian route, reverse parking area, CCTV, but there's nothing saying keep out, nothing saying this is a secure site or private property. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm on public land. I am making a judgment. Pedestrians this way, look at that, how welcoming that is. But... It, um, I don't know if Valencia would like me filming this, but it looks, how do I put this? How do I say this in a polite way? It looks like a very messy, disorganized operation here. Extremely messy. I mean, look at the bin bags coming out the back of that dump truck up ahead. A lot of the big yellow things they've used in, you've got a choice, obviously, Caterpillar, JCB, but here they've chosen Volvo. And these old boys with the kind of rusty, stabby, stabby landfill wheels are from a company called Bomag. Bom Bomag, as you can see. But uh, you can see the little orange guys on the hill down there. You can see the plastic sheeting, I guess, which is to stop the heavy rains we've had, just turning this into a bloody 
Erosion Olympics winner. And I can see if we come over here past some of these shrubs, you can see, there go the men in black. Dumpster er raiders. Men in black on the hill. Why are they not in high visibility orange? Are they secret? These are secret service special forces dump staff. Here we're back at this vantage point. You can get a better view from here. If I crop it, please remember, Charlie. If we hold it very still, you can see the men on the hill. I'm surprised. I've been on site for all of five minutes and no one's challenged me. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm getting better shots because of this. But I also don't want to uh, take the piss in terms of random civilian walking around dangerous site. There is a balance to be struck between getting the shots and exposing this big problem and not dying for photons. There's a, there's a balance. Seeing as there's no time like the present, and when will I ever come back to this site? I've been fancying. I've even got shoelaces that need tying and I'm going to neglect my shoelaces for you guys. There's a rusty bulldozer here, which is so cinematic that I think the only right thing to do would be to walk right up to it and just film it. And I'll deal with my shoelace in a second. It's getting muddy and ruined. Look at this bad boy. Killdozer has been retired. Killdozer's had enough. Here he is. How cool is that? And, uh, oh, they also buy Hitachi. Hitachi. My television is actually Hitachi. How weird. Anyway, let's get back to Bulldozer Boy. Let's do a little, little gaze. Very nice. Goodbye to Rusty Bulldozer and hello to uh, Volvo A45G brand new dump beds. Hello, brand new Volvo A45G dump beds. How are you? Are you good? Are you full of anything? Ah, oh, I thought you were going to be full of shit, judging by the smell. But there are a few very older structures here. Look at that rebar, exposed rebar. And uh, he's not doing so well now. But if you look over here, I think I'm about to get told off. Hey guys. How's it going? To leave the site. Yeah, I'll leave the site. No worries, man. My work here is done, but thank you. But I hope you guys sort out the smell. You got to sort out, you work for Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> it smells, boys. There you go. <laughs> One thing I like about Great Britain, you don't get too roughed up. You just get a, a guy with a beard quietly say, can you leave please? Hope he doesn't splash me. No, I'm unsplashable now. I am, he can run me over still, he can kill me. But I don't think he will. I don't think he will. Oh, don't slip and fall. Look at this. We're gonna follow. Follow, follow, follow. Follow until he leaves by the main gates. Follow him until he's out. Anyway, cut. So uh, we're just outside the gates, that's where we got kicked out. And I uh, just want to thank everyone that gave me a little sound bite about how smelly it is. And uh, you can chew on it. It's like uh, the consistency of a, of a healthy gut turd. That's what it tastes like. Not that I've ever eaten a healthy gut turd. But uh, I, I try, you know, we do what we can. I've got a popular YouTube channel, not as popular as others, but popular enough. And if I can come here and cause a bit of a stink internationally, get it? Cause a bit of a stink for Valencia. If we can try and maybe spur them on to invest some of that government contract money. I don't know what I'm talking about. It might not be government contract money. So don't sue me. This is all, this is all tongue in cheek speculation. But there are literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands who live nearby who can't sell their house, who uh, can't rent their house out. They can't do anything because no one wants to invest in an area that literally smells like corpses having a shit. And so to Valencia, to whoever is involved, 
you need to stop doing the bad solutions that you think are helping. As the guy in the car said, you've put down a chemical perfume. What is that? Is it dog shit wrapped in cat shit? Is that your, your chemical perfume? As I say, the only solution might be to nuke the whole site using tactical, uh, tactical grade nuclear weapons from orbit and hope for the best because uh, it should never have gotten this bad. And now that it has, you saw the pipes in the hill. Who knows what they're trying to do? Anyway, this is Charlie from the Pillsworth South Landfill Restoration. What a great restoration job they're doing. This is uh, Charlie over and out.